The bombing of Pearl Harbor, an outbreak of World War II, brought the nation together in a common cause. After Pearl Harbor, uh, Hoover sent out some kind of signal that he was willing to serve in some nonpartisan capacity, and Roosevelt never uh, invited him to do that. Shortly after Roosevelt's death, and with Harry Truman assuming the presidency, Hoover was asked to return to the nation's capital. Truman tapped Hoover to reprise the role of his lifetime, this time helping the victims of World War II. As honorary chairman of the President's Famine Emergency Commission, Hoover flew to 38 countries to assist in providing food relief for millions of starving Europeans. Rejuvenated by his new role, Hoover participated in several civic functions, including the Hoover Commission, a bipartisan group challenged with reorganizing the executive branch of government. He had kind of outlived his political enemies, and in his final years, there was a certain avuncular image about him. And I think a lot of people felt that, well, they may not have agreed with Hoover. Uh, he had tried hard and was a decent and honorable man. Those were sentiments that were not so widely shared when he left office. Herbert Hoover outlived his wife, Lou Henry, by more than 20 years. He died in 1964. Both Herbert Hoover and Lou Henry Hoover are buried near his birthplace in West Branch, Iowa.